Yo, what's good, man? All right, last time I did a video on this, it was like the comments was 50 50. I just didn't have the, the strength to really go to war with some of these people. Oh my God, he's being free and he's he's his own man and he should do what he wants to do. And you're right, Kid Cudi could do whatever he wants to do. Um, but I also have the right as a citizen to say whatever I want to say. And if I don't agree with it, I could say that, right? So here we go. So at the CFDA Awards, Fashion Awards, and like I said, Kid Cudi, just like Wessel Dressbrook, it seems like there's a pattern with black men trying to get into the fashion business. They have to put on this dress in the beginning to get accepted. It's almost like it's a part of their admission fee. Because when Kanye first got into the fashion business, before he became this billionaire and started his own brand, Kanye was wearing dresses at one point in the early 2010s. I remember that. And then he was like, now you got Wessel Westbrook, well, Wessel Dressbrook, whatever you want to call him. He's thinking about his career post-basketball and what he wants to get into. That's why you've seen him at Fashion Week with that whole gown on. Uh, the issue I have with this is yeah, I can see if you're a transgender male or if you're a, a, a gay male and you're a drag and you, you, you're you fine. That makes sense if you, you know. But when you're sitting here acting as if, when you're sitting here as a heterosexual male who has children, who claims you straight and you wearing women garments, women clothes, that is weird. That is very strange. Maybe I'm just too traditional, I'm too old school. That's strange. And the fact that he has a daughter, he's got a 10 year old daughter. She probably looked at this dress and said, oh my God, daddy, that's cute. I'd like to have that one day. I mean, other than the, the jacket top, it, it's pretty much a, a traditional wedding dress. Now this white guy that you see him standing with, um, uh, is Eli Russell uh, Lin Linets? Link Linets, that's his last name. This white dude that's holding his hand. He texted him a picture of this wedding dress, Kid Cudi, and said, will you be my bride? And that's how this whole thing, and I guess Kid Cudi clicked his heels together and said, I, I do, because that, that's when they went on it. And he said, and I quote, I trust this man, so I, I was down to take it wherever his mind went. That's what Kid Cudi said. And of course, the dress has all sorts of responses from the public. But we know this is why y'all do this. Embarrass these men. Whether you want to call it a, a, a humiliation ritual, embarrass these men. And you got to sit there with a straight face, with a dead serious face, wearing a dress. And then you got some black folks even uh, defending this. <laughs> like, I don't know. I was a Lasky kid. I was one of them kids that came home from school every day by myself and waited till my mother got home. Promise you, I never raided my mother's dresser and tried to put on her clothes or my sister's when I stayed. Never. Uh, maybe I'm, I'm kind of I'm starting to think is, is because there was no father around for a lot of y'all. Was y'all going through y'all mother's clothes? Like, I, I'm serious. I, when is, is this really something that black men are doing? Like, are y'all really wearing women undergarments and stuff in the house? Because if these cats is doing this in the streets, ain't no telling what they are doing in the house. It's ridiculous. Now, the whole narrative has always been where they only do this to black males. And I know it gets kind of tiresome, but tell me the white version of Kid Cudi right now in hip hop. What white rapper right now or any other rapper alternative is doing this? I've never seen Eminem put on a dress, maybe in one of his funny videos back in the day. But I've never seen Eminem with a serious face at a, at a damn award show on the red carpet with a dress on. Mac Miller, rest in peace. Never seen that. Never seen it. Wessel Westbrook, show me Luka Doncic wearing a damn wedding dress, uh, wearing a dress in broad daylight. R Ricky Rubio, Jokic, the, the reigning MVP. You don't see this with other entertainers but our own. Something has to be said about that. These black men just want to put on dresses? And these are fathers. Wessel Westbrook got three kids. I wouldn't know what to, my mind wouldn't even be able to process that if, as a child if I seen my dad coming outside the house with a damn gown or a dress on. Like that, that, that is very strange behavior. And like I say, if you're a trans male, whatever, trans female, or you, you know, you a gay man who does drag, hey, I understand that. But don't sit here and act like you 100% straight and you wearing weirdo shit like this. This is weird. Now, some people, like I say, are defending this. Some people, somebody on Twitter said, Kit Cuddy in a dress. So all the weirdos tweeting some conspiracy BS. Eddie sold his soul in the Illuminati or tweeting out homophobic, transphobic shit, LOL. People love to hate. What is it to hate on? Why am I hating on his dress? I'm jealous of his dress. 
<laughs> I'm not. I don't wear women clothes. I, what happened to men wearing suits? That's the one thing I loved about Power when it first came on. Amari Hardwick. That was one of the most masculine characters on television for the first time in a long time. This man got up every day and had on a damn suit and was fly. You had niggas who never wore suits in their life, didn't know how to tie a tie, wanted to be like ghosts. What's wrong with a man putting on a fly suit? Nobody's hating on somebody wearing a dress. People don't understand it and people think it's weird. That's what it is. Don't, don't misconstrue hatred for us just talking about somebody being weird, bro. And then he goes on to put on a, a clip for his Instagram saying, I'm free. I, I don't know, bro. Like I say, I don't want to insinuate drugs. I know Kid Cudi did a lot of drugs back in the day. Acid, this, that, cocaine. He claims he's clean. Bro, this look kind of fishy to me. Are you sure you sober? Because <laughs> you don't look like you all the way there, bro. You look like you a little bit like, what's that shit and get out? They took your soul or whatever? You ain't all the way there, bro. You are not. And like I say, I didn't know he was that successful, honestly. I always looked at him as one of them weirdo kind of cast-off rappers. He sold over 22 million records, believe it or not. But like I say, it just seems like this is what black males have to do when they want to get deep in the fashion business. This ain't like back in the day when you sold urban fashion and everybody had Fat Farm, Rockaway, this, that. You want to get really big into the fashion game, it's like you got to put on that dress. You got to put on that dress and you got to do what they ask you to do. Uh, hopefully it works out for him because they've definitely been embarrassing him the last few years. But like I say, show me a white rapper that does this. I see Young Thug doing it, Kid Cudi doing it, Kanye doing it. You know what I mean? But we don't show me the white rapper that's doing this or any of them. So I can't just debunk that narrative that they out here emasculating black males because we only see black male entertainers doing this weak shit. And then we're supposed to just keep scrolling like it don't mean nothing. But you do it for shock value. You want us to get us to talk about it. Because if Kid Cudi showed up to that award show last night in regular clothes, it wouldn't have made any headlines. You see what I'm saying? They knew if they put him in a dress, people would say something. But then you get mad because people aren't necessarily raving about it. Of course they're going to say it's a, it's, a, it's a heterosexual male in a damn wedding dress. It's no different than when... Dennis Rodman put on a wedding dress and he married Carmen Electra. He knew what he was doing. He knew he was going to get people to talk. And this was a world pre-social media. He knew what it was. So don't sit here and do stuff for shock value and then get mad when the criticism comes or you don't like the, 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 the stance that a lot of people are taking. Y'all put him in that dress for a reason. So deal with the pressure. Deal with it. You know what I mean? But for all you weirdos that, you know, this is a weird world that we living in. Is there oxygen on Mars yet? Cause get me off this planet right now. I know it's kind of hot out there, but we got to figure something out because Earth is doomed as we speak. Uh, let me know what y'all think in the comment section. I'm out of here.